Okay. <clears throat> Man, I feel like I've been working a lot lately, but not a lot of content on the channel as of late. So, I've been excited to do this and the next build for a while now because I do plan on doing something custom with these. I'll probably talk about that more during the build than during the current preamble. But, um, yeah. So, I'm still very happy and very lucky to get this for, um, the amount I did, if you remember, way, way back in the unboxing video, which was like a year and a half ago or something. Uh, getting this for this price was a great steal, as well as everything else, and other upcoming stuff. But yeah, Air Master Burst, as you can probably tell from the uh, box art here, this is a pre-Bandai kit, based off of the original Air Master from Gundam X, which currently still watching, very much enjoying. It's probably my favorite Gundam show I've seen so far. But um, with all of that out of the way, let's uh, get into building the Air Master here. Uh, very cool transforming kit. Um, from what I can remember, there's not a whole lot of uh, parts formation stuff, which is great, because usually when it comes to these kinds of kits, you have to like, you know, parts form, like take this out, move that and stuff. Not so much with this kit. I think all we have to do is like remove, which is great. I would rather remove than have to add like a bunch of wings and stuff. So very excited for it. Hopefully it lives up to all the hype here. And yeah. Just go through some stuff. Here's all that's left on the sticker sheet. There's nothing left. We've used all the stickers. And there weren't that many to begin with. A lot of these tiny ones up here go in the creases of like the shoulder and stuff. So if you wanted to fill that in with paint, that would have been super easy to do. As they are, you know, like creased in for stickers. So it's almost like they would have expected you to not paint it if you wanted to. All right. Here we have a bunch of our leg stuff. This can go here, that can go there. Don't really need much of what we have in front of us. So yeah. Here we go. Starting on step six with the feet. So that way we can build up to a nice, beautiful mechanized body. Barter. Um, hmm. It's a nice way to do the space. Move some more stuff here. Got the microphone on the table today. Hopefully we get some nice ASMR-y sounding sounds. Unless it all just ends up standing like crinkly, crackly static. I don't know. I'll have to watch this one back later. So yeah. I don't have a whole lot to say and I don't really feel like talking because I'm currently nursing a sore throat and I've done a bunch of talking already these last two videos or three videos now including this but yeah for anybody unaware or slightly uninterested we did just watch the uh, PlayStation game showcase and Skull and Warhammer Warhammer Skulls game showcase within like the last for me, it feels like within the last two hours. But yeah, there was some stuff I did in between, including sleep. Which I rarely do. Okay, this is an interesting heel design. So this is a separate piece up here for the heel. Which we normally don't get. So small and separate. Uh, hmm. It's not entirely clear. I think that's what it wants. Do this and then add it to this. There's the tip. And there's the back. Okay. Get that PC7 in there. So that goes in like this. Is it supposed to meet the rail or? Go from the back. Okay. It's supposed to go in like this. Have to angle that right. Hmm. 
Might be a good idea to bring out the tweezer just to push it in. Hmm. So off to the side a bit too much. I want to rotate that. It's probably going to have a really good set aside pivot. Most of these transforming kits have really good set aside pivot because they do a nice, uh, because they do like a, what do you call it? Transformation in the feet where it just folds out. So they have nice forward bend, good set aside bend. Normally, not all, uh, transforming kits have the same sort of design features as intended. But most of them do. Where'd that other seven go on my hand? Cool. I don't think I'll have as much trouble with this one. Yep, perfect. And then it wants us to punch it into the toe. So this clips onto here. There's a nice little groove for it to fit in. And then it gets locked in place with this white piece, I'm guessing. This almost looks like something that goes on the skirt, which it is. Mm, but they do look, those two are very similar actually. Okay. A nice little bit of grooving in here for panel lining. That's good. I like that amount of detail you can already see. Do, 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 do. And yep, that's the one that goes on the foot. So I could find that other white piece here for the skirt. Okay. Good, we got our little toes. Tippity toes. Let's test the bend. Look at that. Yeah. A nice transforming bend. Not a lot on the upper pivot. No, no forward movement. So it's gonna be all back for those. And then we gotta build the thigh. Here and here. Now this is the crunch. Trying to get everything out of the way because we know we don't need it currently. So this, this, any poly caps? No poly caps. We need I'm guessing this and this, and then this closes it for both, and then these can go up here. Feels like it's for the arm. Interesting. Okay. So this goes into this facing the other way this way hold on this is molded rightward I think it needs to bend slightly forward for the transformation I think that might be right usually you don't get it right on the first try but let's uh, see here Looks like the wrong part to close. So this one? Yep. <laughs> so it should line up like that. With that groove in the back. Okay, cool. That looks like it was done right. Then this feeds in through here. Is it supposed to go all the way or a little bit of the way? I think just a little bit. It looks like it's two pieces, but it's just one here on the top. And yeah, good forward and a little bit of forward pivot. That seems right. And there it is. not closing properly. I wonder if that's because it's wrong. Nope. Hmm. Okay. Left foot, right foot. And then the 
this probably just goes straight in. Not without PC8. I wonder what leftovers we're going to have on the runner. I actually forgot. It would be nice to throw away a runner for once. It would feel like ever. But we so often are left with leftovers on these runners. It's kind of a shame that they print out the whole thing every single time. Okay, and then it wants to go into these. It wants to go here facing forward. Hold on. This is the top, so it goes this way. No, it's not the top? Hmm. I don't know what is the top. But this is the bob. Okay. So it needs the extra space for the bend and whatnot. And then this goes in here. And then another PC8. Okay. Pretty sure this is one of those butt plugging pieces I don't like to use. <coughs> that's the that's the best way I could have worded that, unfortunately. Again, facing that way and that way. Okay. Hmm, wrong one. Or upside down. Probably the wrong one. I'm kind of unused to seeing these vents exposed, but, you know, you could paint them in or something, or, I don't know. I, don't know. I do have plans for the custom, of course. I was going to use the parts we have left over from the, uh, what's it called again? The Siegfried Valkyrie Mirage, because we have so many leftovers over here. huge bag of like four runners not complete runners obviously because you know it's supposed to mix and match and whatnot yeah. I think that's the right way I think so. using the parallel as an example because it still faces the same direction despite being parallel and where was that other White piece. Here it is. Good. We are well on our way to having a slightly longer but short day for me. Oop. Okay. Good ceiling sand over there. Hmm. It's a little bit tighter than I remember. And this line here. Hmm. Interesting. This one isn't sealed quite properly. There's a little bit of nubbing in the front and in the back. So, yeah. These two aren't sealed the same. I don't know. 
for my custom purposes, that's probably going to be okay. I wanted to bulk up the legs because the legs on the finished uh, transformed version, the legs are really flimsy looking. So I definitely wanted to bulk them up and like add a booster or something over it. I don't think this is a left-right connotation. Let's see, upside down or right? Okay, good. And good. PC six for the feet. It's five. These are six. Very normal and standard so far. The only special premium parts of it are going to be when we get to the arms and the chest. I think. So, yeah, standard as it should be. And the legs are kind of different. Nothing we haven't seen before, but something we don't see a lot of. Hmm. I like the way that fits together, it's very sleek and seamless, almost looks like one piece. Very premium. Well, I think that was backwards, yeah. That fits in nicely. Uh, I could be wrong. Or it could be like left leg, right leg connotation. That's probably what that is. Which would make this the right leg, I think. Have to check the thruster vents. Great. So let's see here. You would fit in this one. This. So there's your forward bend. And then your backward bend needs to be greater. So that doesn't seem right. Hmm, okay, that seems good. I'll put that into a foot. So that would make this the left foot and this the right foot. I'm sure you could rotate this. Let's see. Yeah, you can rotate that all the way around, no problem. This part feels like it should be in the front. So maybe I do have it on backwards. Yeah, it says as much. Maybe this is the bend for the transformation here. It's hard to tell. But, yeah, looking at the manual. I suppose this is enough forward bend. I'm used to it doing like the 90 bend, but then we can get this, so. It doesn't seem like it's wrong either way, you know? So let's rotate this. Rotate that. And we still have the same bend. Actually, this is the left leg, but yeah, the thruster is outward, so it would be the left leg, thruster outward. I could just rotate that, no problem. It's pretty much the same. I guess you could just do whatever you want with it. It doesn't really matter, and it's not really noticeable. Although it might affect the transformation, so we'll find out all the way at the end if I made a mistake or if it's just like my feel. Because it doesn't, you know, you know when you build a thing, it doesn't tell you to test it to make sure it bends the right way, so it could be that it's not supposed to have a complete backwards bend and that that was the right way previously. Who knows? Okay, this is just super simple. 
so all the pieces here for the uh, crotch, I think. What are we going to need? We're going to need some polycaps, obviously. P4. Nothing else I can see on this page. So P4. And I'm guessing maybe the last one, the next one probably goes in the waist. Or not the waist, the chest. So P4 at the top. And then you probably plug in mix it upside down. This way. Before we plug that in. No. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. There are some extra stuff. I'll probably pull them out later, depending on how quickly we finish, and I'll like show you guys what I'm planning on for the custom. And get a better idea of it if you care. Although I might not, because I don't know. It feels like extra and that's better saved for an actual customizing video. But, you know, we're already making really good time, so... If I have to artificially increase the length of the video... <laughs> eh, it's not a bad way to do it. And then... 5 and 5. Okay. Now we're going backwards. Back to the chest. The standard... Polycap skirt pieces over here. I would think this way. Not backwards. So it fits the uh, length here. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I got out the right way. Facing backwards. Probably because it like rotates and whatnot. Ooh, that's nice. Nice and tight. Not loose fitting at all. We still have that side to side pivot. Very nice. That's great. I already feel like posing it and we've only built the legs. So that's good. Nice feel. Already standing relatively tall. But probably still on the shorter side of Gunpla. So we got chest stuff here. I'm guessing this is everything. And then this is our accessories. Oh, I forgot about this. So there's a nice hole here to plug in. I'll probably have a plug in for that on my custom side. And then this is supposed to be the cover if you don't want to put anything in there or whatever. In case you wanted to just straight build it. But I think that's either big enough or is easy enough to drill to be a bigger hole if it doesn't fit standard 3mm stuff. Got our nice head over here. Looking better than I remember. Although, you know, nothing too interesting. This almost feels like a Master Grade style cockpit. A little bit bigger, but you know, it's got the right shape down. There was a little plug in here. Put a pilot right in there. That's neat. And then this unique piece, because I guess we're going to do like a waist rotation or something when we transform. There is a little bit of that, now that I think about it. And this, I think, no. Not that. Not that. We'll probably remember when we get to it proper. That is a nub, is it not? <laughs> Clean that up. Okay, so I know it's this. And I'm pretty sure it's this, because it's the only thing that looks remotely like it. Going this way or the other way? Other way. Rotate that. With these, facing downward. Other way. Mm-hmm, good. And this one, I don't know that one, but this plugs into it, so here. <laughs> Looks a lot bigger in the manual. 
and that plugs into this this one no mine is upside down which it's supposed to be good you push this in a bit more and then push that so it fits together nice and then you can see the rotation here although I believe it only rotates upward yeah which is the only bit of parts formation where we have to remove the head so that it can rotate the chest up and cover which is you know not too bad at all tiny at the top okay and then here we have I don't know like shoulder guards I forget what the word is and that plugs in one way only so you know it's right unless you rotate it am I supposed to rotate no so this hole is here this is facing wants me to point it upward because the wings plug into here so that's good I love this uh, self reaffirm not self reaffirming but like you know reaffirming parts assembly yeah so if one thing fits then the other thing should fit and if it doesn't then you know you made a mistake I don't feel like we see that too often or I just haven't noticed it as much but I'm really feeling it in this build that like this goes here so that that can go on it and if it doesn't it's upside down that's cool not in the legs but in this part hmm this seems like an awkward fit oh. I guess there's a t I guess there's enough of a groove to keep it in place here. It doesn't really feel like it. So okay here. And push that in. So it's held in here. Uh, not the best, but it is a sort of natural crevice, so that works. And yeah, not the best amount of movement, but probably good enough. Aerodynamic enough when you factor in 3D maneuvering ability. That makes sense. Or is uh, good enough? Yeah. Mm, cool, a little plug in the back, one milliliter. Do 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 do. And that was mostly without looking. So now we have cockpit covering stuff. Like these are arms. This probably goes in the back. That goes on top of something. Hmm. What is it? I don't see that. Flip, 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 and flip. Is it this gray piece? Hmm? Gray piece, okay. And then this yellow piece here. So. Upside down. And then you go into, is it one, two? No. So this goes in here. Hmm. Doesn't fit smoothly. This would have to go in via there. There you go. It goes in the middle. I was trying to plug it into this. Not the yellow. So I will take that out. Should it be fine? And rotate it this way. This slides into that. Cool. 
And then yes, just like I predicted, this goes into here. And then that goes into something else. Ah, I skipped a step. Well, that plugs in this way. So these two slide onto each other. And these three parts sort of line up, or two parts, I guess. And then plugs into the waist. And then here, a space for that chest piece. Great, everything snugs in together. Assembling the head, doing the arms. <clears throat> PC3 for both. And hey, we're almost done. We get to use the whole thing. Now that's what I call premium. this that's one piece of that hmm like we're missing something here for these arms or the hands yeah hands and then this seals them in where's that other one ahead they needed cleanup yeah this one So they all plug into this one. All right. Mm. That has enough strain to push it off. So didn't need to do. Didn't need to break out the tools to clean that up. That bends this way, this bends in the opposite direction, so it's not right, is it? Or is it this way? Let's see. Hmm. look so it's supposed to go in this exposed piece here oh so it's upside down okay so this and then that I'm guessing this way good so it lines up then squeaks out good and this one can go I imagine either way Okay, bit of trial and error for that, if you don't understand the pictures. And then armor it up. So the blue part is where the arm sticks out, okay. Then it slides in here. Okay. So that's probably not the right one. And 
Yeah, it's not the right one. Can I flip it or does it only go one way? Yep, it seems like it's only one way. Hmm. Is it being like that? Simple and easy. this in whichever way doesn't seem to matter oh missed this this wants to go in whichever way I can never tell with these things let's at least try to do it right hmm The line isn't all the way to the side like it shows in the manual. It's kind of just there. And it doesn't seem to it doesn't seem to matter because it's not clarifying. So I guess it just doesn't matter. I'll make it this way. Can't complain, it's just more stuff we don't have to worry about. Oh, it is supposed to be the other way. That's weird. So the blue part is supposed to be out. Like I thought. Okay. Do do do. Just being sure. Put that in there. This in here. And boom. Hmm. Huh. That's really tight. Almost uncomfortably so. Hmm. Huh. the head off I don't want to damage it hmm. 
Yeah, we got no stomach crunch. Unfortunately. Understandable. Oh yeah, much shorter than I thought. Seems like a maybe five centimeters or something. <coughs> Makes sense. He's a little speedy guy. All right, let's get to the backpack stuff. So it looks like we assemble it and then we attach it. Okay. Get those arm covers. We'll just quickly assemble these. Classic two pieces put together makes a blaster rifle. Beam rifle. G -g -g Gun. Nothing too special here. Out of the box, at least. Pretty sure they go on the outside hands. They have this little attachment point here to go into the skirt. So I'm pretty sure it would be this way, pointing. And then this, I don't remember which is left or right. Good. Okay, let's build this sick ass little backpack here. We got this and this. Sort of forming like a secondary cockpit. I wonder if the pilot is actually seated in the back when this suit is transformed or if it is in this chest part like it normally would be. Just because they put so much effort into making this look like an actual like cockpit or I suppose like beak not sure what you would call it for a plane I guess the face or head it looks more like it than it should unless it actually was if that makes any sense to you something else it's gonna help keep it stapled together I put those two pieces together already and then this piece here to help it articulate one two I guess this one goes in the back because it has two here, but it doesn't really show it in the manual, does it? No, it only highlights the one. So I guess this would go here, and this one is for stabilizing. So it doesn't exceed its reach, I suppose.
and that rail connects to this. Okay. So it doesn't actually use the backpack hole. Rather interesting. Let's see, that's the right arc. All right. I was confused for a second there because it goes from this to this. It's because I didn't open it up. Okay. Do, 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 do. Let's see these two, and I'm guessing these pieces here. So does it want to hide the venting? I don't think so. Yeah. So one up, one raised. And then these white pieces here. I already did this to one of the wings, I guess. feeds in and self locks and then it goes over here so this is the wing that just kind of folds inward for uh what do you call it mobile suit combat maneuverability so it would have to be like this i think i think it'd pop out like that or is it the other way? That seems more right. Hmm. Let me just make sure which is the bottom, which is the top. Feels like I missed a step here because this is just three connecting points. It connects to the side like this. One and two, okay. So it pinches the wing. The white part is supposed to be facing upward and be visible, so. Huh. Yep. Can't get much more confirmation than that. Because there's this curved piece underneath it. Hmm. I don't know. What about... Oh, that's supposed to be in the back. No, it's wrong. And this white piece is supposed to be... Hmm. That's confusing. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, you flip it when it's done, maybe.
this is a better image over here after 12 this one it's better for me all right so one part separator one instance of that today at least Yeah, all the way in the back, and then, yeah. Hmm. How did I not get that the first time? Weird. And... Oh, that's hindsight. Some... Something. So this wing backwards or hmm. find out about that later. So this part is supposed to be on right now, and I think because maybe mine's backwards or something. these and two guns here with a poly cap inside I don't remember taking one out previously so oh, it's a G2 but it's a poly cap that's not on the poly cap runner because it's premium Bandai so it's made after the fact because the original air master doesn't have these uh, guns it just has a sort of uh, like a missile attachment or something Okay, and then this goes into the back after the fact via this. Okay. I'm not sure I could tell the difference. Oh, there you go. Doesn't work if it's upside down. That's good. I wish more things didn't work at all if they were upside down. Because it's too easy to do it the other way. So that's neat. These plug into the arm, or sorry, to the top of the shoulder, as opposed to plugging into the back like I would have thought initially. Very cool. Oh, you don't have a camera out there. Do, 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 do. My bad. Very neato. And then next we have our transformation. Which, yeah, very simple. You almost don't even need the manual. Which is great. Oh, and the chest not the chest, the uh, waist piece at the bottom is actually for the stand. Okay. Awesome. Let me see here. So, to do the transformation, you can take off the hands. Where do the hands go? To the side, folding it the back upside down. Da, 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 da. 
Yeah. Kind of awkward looking. But still cool. Let's try and get that going. I love this one. It's part of the head. Okay. That just goes flat like that. And this rotates like here. Doesn't do anything special, does it? Mm hmm. Well, it does show them doing like a bend so that they become like landing gear. And they do have a nice back here. So you can do that and then have them also at an angle. Yeah, a little bit more awkward looking. And then we have the wings come out like this. And then we first have to take these out like here. And then that goes away with the wing. Hmm. Let's call it something. It's just a little tight. Okay. And then this stretches out, covering the head. So I think it might be on slightly wrong. So let's see about that. Yep. I totally forgot about the legs. Because that's such a secondary thing. <laughs> and the legs. Mm hmm like that. Classic rotation. And then the forward bend. That's wrong in so many ways. Mm -hmm. Raise that to the height, bend that forward like that. Well, it shouldn't be exceeding the skirt, so that's probably on backwards. Anyway, something like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then you're not supposed to leave the hands on, but yeah, whatever. That attaches this way. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to be. It looks better from the front than from the side because of all this extra baggage. And most people I see, they just take that off and it looks like that. And that looks fantastic by itself. So who knows? I probably won't even use this in the future. But yeah, it looks really cool just as this. So if you wanted, you know, buy this, use this for a kit bash. Keep it as is. Find a plug-in just for that. Or I don't know. Maybe drill a hole here or something. If you want to have it also on display. I'm sure landing it would be easier. Because then you just put the whole thing flat. Or add a piece. Actually. <clears throat> I 
That looks pretty fine, just not done. Even in this landed. Yeah. So all in all, pretty cool. Uh, premium, premium is really just in the name, although there are some interesting little bits and bobs here. I don't think it's bad for like even a first build, actually. Cool all around. So... I guess it really just depends if I want to keep the legs, how I would customize it. Because if you keep the legs, you kind of want to bulk them up with something. And yeah. I don't know. Probably going to scrap the whole uh, talking about the customizing now, because having actually built it, I'm forming some different opinions on whether or not to even have it transform back into Gundam. Or a mobile suit. But yeah, this is really cool on its own. <clears throat> Dropping it. Yeah. But anyways, hopefully you think the kit is cool, because I certainly do. And you enjoyed the video and all the other stuff we're going to be posting up this week. A lot of content this month, apparently. And uh, even more next month with Summer Games Fest. But um, if you don't care about that, probably do some more gun plot the week after and whatnot and without taking up any more of your time and rambling thank you so much for watching and until next time keep on dreaming uh feel free to post your uh comments and stuff on the youtube and uh hit me up on the discord for photos and things or just discussions about gun plot or anything else you want to see on the channel or just enjoying life again thank you so much Till next time keep on dreaming poutine Peace.